Hold up. Should have been prepared. I will rock with it. All right. You hit record on that, and then these little buttons do our introduction, and then that's it. We're off and running. Welcome to the Big Honker Podcast, brought to you by Mallard Bay. Did you know? <sighs> Timing was impeccable. Check out Mallard Bay, Iron Wolf Outfitters, Lake Village, Arkansas. They can take care of you on booking a hunt, or if you're an outfitter, they can help you sell hunts. So check out mallardbay.com. I'm Jeff Stanfield with the world-famous Andy Shaver. Do you want me to go first, or you want to go first? Uh, mine's a plethora of little stuff, so you go. You need to go first, or I'll go. I don't care. It does not matter to me. Okay, I'll go first. You lead the way. I will lead the way. I hope we don't have, I hope ours don't, aren't overlapping. I, well, I've got a lot of stuff I'm going to talk about. Did you know mm -hmm. that it's illegal to feed pigeons on the sidewalks and streets of San Francisco? I did not know you that. You drop heroin needles and poop it in the streets. It is not that way legal. in New York, though. But, nope, but you cannot feed. It's against the law to feed pigeons in the streets of San Francisco. Makes sense. That would be what I would clean up first if I were San Francisco. Forget the homeless. Let them sit there and do all their stuff in the street. But, God forbid anybody clean uh, feed a pigeon. Yep, rest them if they do. Yep. Okay, now this one here is kind of funny because this is where ha ha on what you believe or not. Did you know an astronaut was allergic to the moon? Harrison Schmidt found out that he had severe reaction to moon dust after he'd been to the moon. So did we go to the moon or did we not go to the moon? If he got the sniffles, then I guess we did. He got the sniffles. Did you know the official bird of Redondo Beach, California is a Goodyear blimp? <laughs> What? California, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's a good year. And Eddie 19, left that place. No and, wonder. And in 1983, the coastal city made the Goodyear blimp their official city bird in the anticipation of the 84 Summer Olympics. So the Goodyear blimp is the official bird of Redondo Beach. I Makes guess you sense. can't shoot it there. Okay. How many presidents do you think have won a Grammy? Ho. Oh, five. Three. Dang it. Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama. A so, Grammy? Yep. So if the Democrats would get their ass to working instead of winning Grammys, we'd be better off when they're in office. What did uh, Barack Obama won for his? He won Best Spoken Word album in 2006 for the narration of his book Dreams from My Father. That's a book. That's not an album. I, he read it. I trust me. They love a Barack Obama. I have no Bill idea. Bill Clinton played saxophone. Bill that makes Clinton sense. was Best Spoken Word album for my life. Oh, so this is like a technicality thing. And then Jimmy Carter won three Grammy Awards in the Best Spoken Word Album category. Yeah, but they didn't pr produce music, so that's an asterisk. Well, I'm that's just half of a did you know. Did you know Viking men wore makeup? No. Yes, they did. Why? Uh, it says it, it's no doubt the Vikings were some of the toughest men in history books. However, they cared about their appearance enough that makeup was part of their everyday routine. I wonder if that was because I wonder if that was like to to be more uh, scary whenever they did the raids because they said Blackbeard the pirate mm -hmm. um, he would strike matches and stick them underneath his hat. That way, he always had like a haze of smoke around him. So whenever he would do these, whenever he would, this is not my did you know, but just a fun fact that I picked up Blackbeard the pirate. Any time that they were about to take something over, he would like light matches and then stick them underneath his hat. That way, he would always have like smoke behind him. That's interesting. Create like a aura. So that's crazy. There's that, your bonus. Did you know this is this one? I found pretty interesting. Veterans Stadium where the Eagles used to play. Okay, they had a courtroom in jail because the crowds were so bad that a judge went there and did all their courtroom in, in the jail, in the stadium. That's why beer's $15 a pop. 95% of the people they arrested weren't even from Philly that were arrested there. Just hooligans. I think just comes there for the deal, just to, to raise hell and have a good time. Right. What's the only letter in the United that is, doesn't appear in one U.S. state name? Give me a second. In one U.S. state name, B. Hmm? B, boy. So you, you don't think there's a B anywhere of any states? I'm thinking. No, Alabama. Dang it. Mm -hmm. Very first one. Okay. Um, Z. Z. 
Final answer. What? Q. Oh, that makes sense, too. That's a dumb letter. I'm trying to think. Is E's Arizona? Dang it. That was in the A's also, so if you just started from the bottom on. But Q is the only one. That makes sense. Yeah, what's X? Uh, Texas. New Mexico, Texas, yes. Yeah, yeah. Texas, that was New the Mexico. One I thought I Another one, too. Frank Hayes, in 1923, was the winner of a race at Belmont Park right outside New York City. However, there was a slight problem. The guy died on his horse, finished the race dead. Like when he finished When, when he finished the whole race, race, he was dead. No, they don't know. He had a heart attack during the race. What year was this? 1923. Oh, it wasn't televised. Damn yeah. it. And they wanted to kick him out and say it wasn't fair because he wasn't alive when he rode the horse. The horse is doing the work anyway. Well, What's the difference? Just telling you what it is. The original Darth Vader suit, how much do you think it cost to build it and replace it today the, exactly the way it was? I know this one. Oh, you do not. $600,000. No, not even close. I'm high or low? You're very low. Uh, I'm low on yes. six hundred grand. Yes. One point three. Eighteen point three million dollars. No. Yes. No. Yes. That was no. What's it made of? Dar an exact Darth Vader replica would make an awesome Halloween costume, but it's probably a little over budget. According to the New York Times, it would cost the average person eighteen point three million to make a real life replica for the infamous black suit that features a voice modifier, breathing apparatus, prosthetic limbs, and an augmented reality filter. I don't even know what that, that hell. You're that asking, is. so you like Darth Vader's a fictional character. That's not that doesn't make sense. I don't make the rules. I'm just telling That's you. That's like the getting you to be Darth Vader. Well, it ain't going to help me be Darth Vader, so. That's silly. Okay. Last one. Okay. Do you think you, what, what, how much of a percentage do you think the human liver changes in a day in size, fluctuates? Oh, 17%. 40%. Your liver up, gets bigger and smaller as your day goes on. Depending on how much you drink. Well, that's, that's got a lot to do with it. There's no doubt about that. Anyways, there you go. Those are your did you know? My, la my last one. Oh, I'll okay. do one more if I want to kind of interesting. How many wands do you think uh, Harry Potter went through when they made the first Harry Potter movie? 73. 70. Dang it. And 160 pair of glasses. I busted, so it doesn't matter. Yep. So anyways, all right, that's my did you know. So okay, let's go my did you know. We're going to talk about Winnie the Pooh. Did you know that... This is random. <clears throat> each character of Winnie the Pooh represents a mental disorder. Winnie the Pooh is an eating disorder. Tiger is ADD. Tigger, sorry. Eeyore is major depressive disorder. Piglet yeah. is has an anxiety disorder. Owl is narcissistic personality disorder. Rabbit is OCD. And Kanga is social anxiety disorder. And Rue is autism. Christopher Robin is schizophrenic. All of his friends are actually in his imagination. I think everybody, though, <clears throat> every cartoon character you could label that as something or another. Everyone. Maybe all of these characters are a manifestation of what's going on in Christopher Robin. Well, as someone that hadn't watched Winnie the Pooh in 50 years, I can't remember. Well, go back and watch it, and it'll all make sense. I know that Eeyore, though, is like you date a woman that has no self-confidence that whines and bitches about everything, and yep. she's an Eeyore. That's an Eeyore. Because I know some of them in town here. We got some Eeyores around Knox City. Yep. Okay, my last one. Robert, the story of Robert McGee. So Robert McGee in uh, 1864, Robert McGee is 14 years old. His family decides to migrate west in search of fame and fortune and whatever you would go for west. Uh, they join a wagon train heading to Leavenworth, Kansas. Somewhere along the trail, Robert's parents die. He becomes an orphan. Once in Leavenworth, Robert applied to the army but was not accepted because he was too young. Desperate for work, Robert took a job with a freight company that takes supplies from Fort Union uh, in New Mexico. Summer of 1814, the freight company had a wagon train headed, uh, headed to leave Fort Leavenworth, bound for Fort Union, and Robert was one of the Teamsters working on this wagon because of the dangers on the trail. The wagon had an army escort. Uh, they had several skirmishes They with Indians. They Even with the skirmishes, they averaged 16 miles a day. On July 18th, flagging from the heat, pioneers made camp near Walnut Creek, which is actually next to uh, present-day Great Bend, Fort Zahara. We'll go with that. Never heard of it? Okay. 
You're a Kansas boy, so I didn't know. Uh, they were only a mile away from the Army Fort, so security was lax. That afternoon, uh, about five in the afternoon, the camp was attacked by 150 Sioux Indians, allegedly under the command of Little Turtle. The Indian warriors rode in, shooting arrows and firearms, and mowed down the Teamsters within minutes, and the group was slaughtered. Uh, soldiers came back to, to, you know, you're only a mile away. You can see everything going on. Everybody, it's carnage. There's blood and guts everywhere. Every one of the 14 that were on this uh, wagon train had been scalped. And then they find 14-year-old Robert McGee. He is still alive, suffered multiple arrow, wound, arrow wounds, a pistol shot to the back, and a tomahawk wound. Uh, McGee recalled that he was conscious when the Indian War uh, leader cut off 64 square inches of his scalp mm. of his head. So they took him back, got him uh, all, you know, fixed up. And then the legend became that he was the only person to survive an Indian scalping. But that is not true. There were actually four others. So that is the story of Robert McGee. He actually, they, they turned him into like a um, folklore type guy. Um, What's his name? Robert McGee. I've got a picture of him right here. I'll pull it up on the big screen. That's his head. That's 20 years later. They tried to they tried to do like hair transplants and everything back in the day. None of them took, but he was he basically took on a career as like a uh like a carnival act, basically. That's why I don't have no hair. I got scalped. You got scalped. So didn't Robert Glass also didn't he get scalped? The mm. guy that's in the revenant? He uh Hugh no, Glass. That, no, not Hugh Glass. It was his buddy. That might have been fictional though. But that guy supposedly got Livery Johnson or one of them guys also got I don't know. scalped. I mean, it says I think. it right here. The other four. Uh, let's see. We'll scroll down. It was further. Uh, Josiah Wilbarger, he was scalped. Uh, William Thompson, during an ambush, he was scalped. So, Gosh, only only three or four people lived through that. You imagine getting your oh, it hurt like hell. Mm. He went back on. He went back on uh, back to England. Put his scalp on display for money. Like I said, just uh, traveling circus act. So that is your did you know one of three that was recorded. I don't Robert think McGee. the actual act of getting scalp killed anybody. No, 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 no. I, no, that, I think they did that after they were probably already dead. Because I don't think you you don't you might bleed for a little bit because all you're doing is cutting all the. Oh, it'd be awful. It would be terrible. It hurt like hell. But that's not a that's not a life or death injury. I don't think for most people. It's all the other crap they got before they scalped you. Well, yeah, the arrow wounds and the yep, that, pistol that, shot to that the back. tomahawk get you damn good every time. Every time, got to watch out for those. All right, thank y'all for listening to us. Did you know? Look forward to seeing y'all. We'll be at Squad Fest. Come see us. We'll be at the Boss Booth, July nineteenth and twentieth. Yep. Come see us there, and we still got room for you on the Boss Steel Reserve Hunt. Thanks. God bless you. Have a great week. Bye. Love you. Bye. Watch for deer. <laughs>